How to add an order tracking page onto Shopify. My name is Klaus and in today's quick tutorial, we are going to go over everything needed to successfully add an order tracking page for completely free onto your Shopify store. Now, a lot of other guys are going to tell you that you do need some fancy apps to actually do this, which are going to cost you hundreds of dollars to run. Instead, we are going to go over two different options. Both of them are going to be free. Imagine you could take $1 and then easily make it into $72. Sounds like magic, right? Well, it's not. With Omnisend, you're getting a powerful and popular email and SMS platform tailored for your e-commerce needs. Now, with Omnisend, on average, you're going to earn $72 for every dollar that you're going to spend. Besides their award-winning support team, Omnisend also offers a lot of other great features like a forever free plan, hundreds of tailored email marketing templates and a lot more. Now, Omnisend also seamlessly integrates with Shopify, which means that you can easily build up abandoned card sequences and other automations just with a few clicks. But don't just take my word for it. Omnisend is already being used in over 100,000 businesses and has great reviews all across the board. So if you do want to try out Omnisend, make sure to do so with the link down below. So first off, we are going to get started by actually navigating to the Shopify App Store. To do so, head over to the settings right here on the bottom left, then make sure to click on Apps and Sales Channel right here and open the Shopify App Store. Now, as I've already mentioned, we don't actually need to spend money today. So to actually get started, just look up tracking right here and then you're going to have tons of different options which you can all basically use. However, in some cases, like for example this Rush one I think, although the user interface does look basically pretty good in my opinion the user interface does look good however with this app this is going to cost you nine bucks per month for actually only 100 shipments and with the shipment lookup function so in my opinion this isn't actually worth the price instead you can actually use tools like aftership for example aftership as well does have a pretty good uh, interface in my opinion everything does look super professional however as you can see right here uh, basically they do offer an order lookup page by default however once again you are only going to get 50 shipments per month which is pretty low in my opinion however most apps out there are actually only going to give you 50 uh, trackings for free i think 17 track as well yeah as you can see right here you're only going to get 50 shipments and then you would actually have to upgrade However, uh, we can actually bypass this by simply building up our own order tracking page. This also comes with the upside that we don't have to add any unnecessary apps uh, to our shop, which would then actually affect the loading speed and so on of our shop. So instead, we're going to build up everything on our own right now. So to get started, you will just have to head back to Shopify, then close this tab and then make sure to actually navigate to online store and then to pages right here. Now we will actually have to open up a new page for our order tracking page. In this case, I'm just going to name this order tracking. And then as for the content right here, you will have to switch this to show HTML. This is really important. And then make sure to head down to the link down below. I will leave you this exact document down below and make sure to just copy this step one right here. So make sure to just copy this and then head back to Shopify and paste this onto this section right here. If we're now going to change this back to the editor view, we can then actually see a preview of how this is going to look like. As you can see, you are going to have a simple text input right here, and then the person can actually put in the numbers to actually track this, uh, to basically track their parcel. Now you can actually also change this. You can change the text right here and so on. You can further customize this by maybe making this bold, changing the formatting, and so on but to basically not waste your time we aren't going to go over this right now as of right now i'm just going to simply save this and if we're now going to preview this so let's quickly look at this you can see that we do have this page now if this would be my actual store i would then obviously customize this so that this order tracking thing is in the middle but to not waste your time we aren't going to do this right now so as you can see we do have this page right now but yet it isn't still visible on our store right here on top and to change this you do want to head back to your shopify dashboard and then navigate to navigation right here then we do want to select the main menu and right here add a new menu item and just select pages and then select your order tracking page right here so make sure to just add this right here 
then we can actually play around. I will simply just drag this uh, onto this position. All right, perfect. So as you can see, now we do have this order tracking tab available in the navigation bar. And anyone that is going to browse on our online store can actually access this order tracking page. Now we still need to actually update the notification settings on our Shopify dashboard so that whenever an email like a shipping confirmation email is going to be sent out, everything is going to show up correctly. So to do so, you will have to head over to the settings right here on the bottom left and then navigate to the notification settings right here. And then right here, you will have to access the customer notifications and then under shipping, or maybe it is actually on the top. So, okay, right here on the order processing, you will actually have to select order confirmation. Now, this is how it is going to look by default, but we will actually have to edit this. So make sure to just click on edit code right here and then make sure to actually uh, select everything right here and then simply just delete this. So make sure that actually everything is correctly deleted. And now we will have to head back to the Google doc right here. And then we will have to simply copy everything from step two. However, there is still one step left, which we will have to do so that everything is, uh, is going to be shown correctly. So make sure to just copy and paste this onto uh, the dashboard. Sorry, my bad. And then we still do have one final step left, which is really important. Otherwise, this isn't going to work right here on, under the line 102 under your tracking URL. Make sure to actually delete this. And right here, you will basically have to paste in the correct tracking URL of your store. So I'm just go going to copy the, the URL for this link right here. And then I'm going to paste this onto this. And now this is going to be correctly set up. Now just save this. So as you can see, this is how the email now is going to look like. And if someone actually then wants to track their order, they, they can then just click on this button right here, which will then redirect them to this page. Thank you for watching. If you do want to supercharge your SMS and email marketing, make sure to check out OmniSend with the link down below.